Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Toaster to show any messages like success or error. If you have not watched my previous video like uh, submitting the form data in database, please watch that video and get back to this video. I have added that link in the description as well as you can see somewhere here in the screen. So if you have not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe and let's get started. Alright guys, now let's search for the library that we are going to use to show the toaster. Okay, for that let's go to browser and you can search toaster, toaster in view 3. Okay, here I'll be using this one. Let's see this. Here we have all the installation process. Okay, this is the library we are going to use for now. So here is the demo you can see. Alright, here we have the position and here we have the message to display position and we also have the duration okay also we have this principal bottom like to cancel the toaster and also we have the in queue okay now let's use this information like you can see here for the default success info warning errors this type of pop-up we can see alright first of all let's install this library Alright guys, our library has been installed. Now let's go to the documentation. Now we need to import this file. Okay, let's copy this. And we need to go to app.js. You can paste it here. And we need to use this toaster. So you can copy this. And here you can do app.use toaster. Alright. If you want to use in a specific uh, component, then you can do this way. Alright, now we are going to show the success message. So you can copy this. We are going to use this toaster after the form has been submitted. Okay, so for that, here once the response will be success, then we can show the toaster. Alright, like we can change the message. Success. Your data has been saved successfully. All right. Save this, and we need to run the npm run watch. Whenever we do any changes, if you are in development phase, you can run npm run watch. If you are going to deploy it in production, then npm run prod or production you can do all right it has been compiled now let's get back to the browser and here you can refresh and let's do the inspect as well so that if there is any issue we can see let's fill the form and let's submit this all right here you can see success your data has been saved successfully right we have done this successfully now let's change the color also so instead of so we can do like here also we have like success in success we can show success okay if we just need to show any message we can use so if there is any error then we can use error and if we just need to show the warning message then we can use warning if the message is just info then you can use info okay now let's copy this error as well if there is any error then we can use this in cats we can cast then we can show something went wrong all right now let's make some changes over employee controller so that we can see the error message as well so instead of employee we can do employee one here we can go and we can refresh this now let's fill the form and submit this 
wallet something went wrong you can see here error message has been shown all right and if you check here network here we have an issue with the employee one which is not found right so this was just to show you how that error message will work now let's get back and here we can also change the position for that we can go back to the library and here we have the position or you can see how to use that here inside the called bracket we can use position all right so let's copy this one and here in the success we can paste it here and you can change this position where the message you want to show in the screen so here we have different options like here we have bottom right top right bottom top bottom right I'm going to use this top right let's use this let's save this and again let's submit the form I need to refresh and let's fill the form and let's submit this already here you can see at the top the success message has been shown all right guys you can try these options here like position duration disable duration all right uh, dismissible in queue these things you can try like pause on over like when when there is a message and if someone pause uh, someone over on this message then it will be paused okay you can make it false as well like pause over pause on over will be false or if you want by default it will be true and here use the default CSS if you want any default CSS then you can use default CSS as well this is the way we can use toaster in our applications all right in upcoming videos we can show like uh, once we click on submit button we can show the loading icon over there and also in the future videos I'll also implement the front-end and back-end validation as well as in upcoming videos I'll render all the data that has been saved in database and will show over here and also implement the pagination so if you like this video please do subscribe and share with your friends as well and if you have any questions regarding this tutorial or any other related to technology you can just give a comment in the comment section below thank you for watching till now